Hey everybody, greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Andy Runton. I am a cartoonist and the author-illustrator of the graphic novel series Owly. Owly is a kind-hearted little owl who just wants to make new friends and go on adventures and his bestest friend in the whole wide world is Wormy, who usually sits up there on top of his head for safety. So, you can see this book is full of pictures and full of illustrations because I love to draw. And I know that you do as well. And that is why we are here. And I am going to show you some little secrets um, that hopefully you can use to draw just about anything that you want to. Um, what I'm really talking about here is a process called penciling and then inking. Um, it's sometimes referred to sketching and referred to as sketching and a few other things. It doesn't really matter. The whole point is that you start out with a pencil and you plan out your drawing and then you go over it with a pen. You don't start off with pen. Um, the important thing to remember is that 99.9% .9 of every artist out there uses this technique. Um, and it's all invisible to you because you don't see it on the page. Uh, what happens is the pictures start out in pencil and then the artist inks over them and then they erase the pencils because ink doesn't erase. And so that part is missing and gone. So I want to share that with you right now. And the best way to explain it is with an example. Does everybody know who this little guy is? He was one of my favoriteest characters when I was growing up and I'd love to try to draw him. So let me show you what I'm talking about with penciling and inking. When I was little and I wanted to try to draw Snoopy, I would draw him just by trying to do the outlines, right? I would do his ear, and then I would do his head. And then I would do his hand. All right, not looking, not looking so bad yet. And then I would draw his belly, and then maybe one of his feet. And, uh-oh, I didn't realize his feet kind of overlap. So I would draw it like that, and I would get upset about that part. And then I would try to draw his butt and his tail and his other hand. And, uh-oh, <laughs> it looks like he swallowed a puzzle piece or something. Uh, but I would try to keep going, but I would look at it and realize that that was a very sad Snoopy. And I would just stop and I would abandon it and I wouldn't know what to do and I'd get frustrated. How many of you have drawings that look like this in your sketchbooks or around the house, right? This is what happens when you try to just go right to inks. Let me show you how I would draw Snoopy now. And I'm gonna use uh, the penciling and inking techniques, all right? I'm gonna do this fast and then we're gonna break it down a little bit and draw Owly together and a few other animals. Don't worry if you can't keep up. This is the way it starts with just a whole bunch of little shapes. I'm trying to plan them out, get the proportions right, get all the pieces where I want it to go. I drew his head a little big. I'm gonna adjust it. Draws the eyes in there, his nose. Draw his fingers, tail. All right, now that is a very messy Snoopy, but this is the part of the process that you don't get to see. And I'll show you. Now I'm gonna go over my own pencil lines with ink.
Now that's a Snoopy I can be proud of. And if you notice, you can't even see the line work anymore. I mean, the pencil lines, right? You can't even see them. And in, in fact, if you do me a favor and squint your eyes just a little bit and then look back at the picture, you'll notice that you can't see the pencil lines at all. So what happens is that artists sometimes erase this or they take it into the computer and they make the pencil lines go away. But you never see this part and that's why it's important to understand that everything starts out messy and then gets cleaned up. Why don't we try to draw an uh, animal that you may not have ever tried to draw before together. Let's try to draw Owly. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sketch it out first in pencil and then in pen. So everybody get a pencil and a pen and join with me. When you want to try to draw something that you've never drawn before, the best thing to do is to start breaking it up into shapes. I did that with Snoopy and I want to do that with Owly now. Think about it as if you're trying to make Owly, in this case, out of Play-Doh, right? You would start out with just a, a round ball, right? So that's what we're going to start off with, is a circle. And notice, I don't care that it's messy. I'm sketching it out. The whole point of the pencils is to be messy and not worry about those kinds of things. Go ahead, draw your circle. Now I'm going to draw his eyes in. Those are also circles. All right, and they overlap, and that's okay. Now I'm going to draw his uh, beak, which is a little bit like a um, upside down teardrop, right? And then I'm going to draw his other part of his beak here, which is just a triangle. Now it's already starting to look like Outley a little bit. We're going to draw his feet. Now his feet, I like to draw as little circles. Almost looks like there's little dinner rolls that are down there. And then I'm going to take a little chunk out of them, a little pizza slice with a V. You'll understand that more when I start to ink him. The next shapes that we need to draw Owly, I think it's all triangles. And a triangle for his ears, triangles for his wings, and then Wormy is just a circle another circle, and then you kind of join them together. And that's it. This is the basic shapes of Owly, and this is what I do when I pencil that out. Sometimes you can go back over and uh, make sure that all the lines are where you want it to be, where you want them to be. You go ahead and add in his eyes, and then you want to draw in the background. And this is hard to do, but this is the way you draw a background. You draw through the character. Again, this is the pencil lines. It doesn't matter. It's supposed to be messy. So we're going to draw in that hill right there, right through Owly. And we're going to draw the trees the same way. That makes sure that everything lines up. So imagine Owly is almost like a little ghost and that's what's happening behind him. And none of that matters uh, because it's all going to go away once we ink it. So if you've got your Owly all penciled out, let's start inking him. Now, when you're trying to ink something, it's important to ink the things that are in front first. So in Owly's case, that would be his feet. Remember that little V I made before? We're going to use that to draw his feet right now. See how the shapes work? All right, now the next thing that is in front is Ali's eyes. First that eye, then the beak, then the other eye. So we're going to ink the first eye. Then we're going to ink his beak. And then we're going to ink the bottom of his beak. And then we're going to ink the other eye. I'm going to ink its little pupils. starting to look like Aldi. Now I'm going to ink his hands. I notice they overlap, but that doesn't matter. I'm not going to ink the part that overlaps, just like I didn't with the eyes. And now I'm going to ink his body. And if you see, don't go through that part. Now 
There we go. There's our little alley. It's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and ink wormy. Same way. Now we're going to do something really fun here with his um, with the grass on the hill. We're going to ink it like this. Broken lines. Look how fun that is. Now we're going to ink the trees in the background. I'm going to add a little bit of shadows under Owly so it looks like he's really sitting in the grass. Wormy's going to be really happy. And then when I'm all done, I make sure that I sign it. If you're proud of your work, you always got to make sure that you sign it. And that's how you pencil and ink drawings. You can see how fun it is. Because I didn't really get frustrated. I planned it all out. And then I inked over it. And I'm left with a drawing that I'm really proud of. Now, let's try to apply those same techniques to other kinds of animals. So how about we try to draw a little dog. I love dogs. I've got three little rescue dogs. Let's try to draw one of them. Let's start out with a circle for the doggy's head. And then a, uh, an oval for his body. And I draw his tail. And I draw ears. I'm going to make him uh, big floppy ears. And draw his nose. Little eyes. Mouth. Back legs. Front legs. Draw his collar in there. And notice I think I made his face a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And it's messy, but that's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, let's ink our little dog. Now, I'm going to use the same technique that I used on the grass to make the dog look super fuzzy. Or how about, I'll just make his ears look super fuzzy. Look at that. Super furry ears. With just little dashed lines. Maybe a little bit of fur right there. And eyes. There's our little dog. Just using basic shapes. Again, don't have to worry about the messy drawing that's underneath because the ink drawing is what counts. Now let's give the little dog a friend. How about we draw a little cat to go with the dog? I'm going to switch back to my pencils. Now cat, very similar. Start out with his body. And I'm going to draw his face circle, yeah. triangles for the ears. Cats have a little bit of a uh, triangular um, cheeks. Gonna add uh, legs to the kitty. Tail. Now notice I didn't try to draw um, a thick tail. You just start off with a simple line and then you can go around it. And then you can get whatever shape of tail you want. Let me draw the eyes of the kitty. It's got little whiskers. So again, it's very messy, but now we're going to go ahead and ink our little kitty cat.
little stripes. And there's our little kitty cat. Notice just simple shapes, nothing crazy. But how about we draw something on top of the kitty cat's head? How about a little mouse? Shouldn't be too hard. Start out with a circle, another circle, and big ears. And I realize that mouse is kind of big. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Doesn't matter because I penciled it first. See that? Now notice I haven't gotten frustrated. I've been able to have fun with my drawing. I've been able to let it grow and just enjoy it. Now I want to draw a little bit of a background back there. So uh, how about it's a little farm. Now we're going to draw the horizon line there and then I'm going to draw some uh, pieces of a fence. And draw a whole fence back there. Now notice there's all this stuff happening back there but because I'm penciling it out first it won't be too hard to draw it. You just ink the parts that don't overlap. Now they're all hanging out by the fence. I'm going to draw a little uh, butterfly up here. Again, circles. So there you go. You can see how fun it can be to pencil things out and then ink them and have a complete picture that you really love, but you didn't get frustrated, you didn't get upset with it, and you just had fun with it. And the more fun you have drawing, the better you'll get because the more you'll do it. And there you go. And there you go. There's no reason to get frustrated and worried about how things are going to look because we planned it all out and then we penciled it and we inked it. And we end up with something that we're really proud of. So I'm going to make sure we sign it. And now let's try to draw something that nobody's ever seen before. Let's try to draw a dragon. Now a dragon or any other crazy mythical beast that you want to draw. Again, it's just a whole bunch of shapes. So let's start off with a dragon's stomach. All right, it's going to be a big circle. Now I don't even know what I'm going to do here, so let's see here. Uh, how about it's got a big long neck. I'm just going to draw it like a line, like that. I'm going to circle on the end of that. And it's going to have a big long nose. And then I'm going to draw its hands and maybe it's maybe it's got little stubby hands little stubby uh, legs and draw its tail there we go go ahead and add some thickness to that neck and I want to draw some big wings back here I'm just going to use big triangles And 
and um, I'm going to make him a happy dragon. That's pretty messy. But I like the way our dragon's planned out there. So, let's ink him. Now let's see, I should probably start with his face first because that's gonna be the thing in the front. Now I kinda gave him floppy ears. He's got some horns. Seems starting to come together. And draw his little wings now. I start off making them bat wings, but I changed them to have feathers. And there's our little dragon. What we can do is we can add some little clouds up here. Really make it look like he's flying high. You know, little birds. He's so happy. Let's see how fun it was to draw him. Penciled him out, inked him planned it all out. I'm going to sign it. There you go. There's our little dragon. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I really appreciate everybody paying attention and joining in. I hope you learned something new. Uh, I hope you learned that penciling and inking can really help you unlock uh, your artistic abilities to be able to draw whatever you want and uh, it leads to a lot less frustration and a lot more enjoyment with what you do and that's why we do it. So thank you all again and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.